Christina Item um, is a county case, and this is going to be REZ 2019-01, property location on Old Pine Road. Yes, thank um, you. This is a request to rezone two parcels on Old Pine Road from R21 to R10. Two parcels combined are just over, just under one acre. The intent is to reconfigure the two lots into three so that three single-story duplexes can be built. Depicted as in a suburban character area on the future development map of the comprehensive plan where R10 zoning is a permitted zoning. The developer does plan to connect to county water and sewer, which would be required. TRC considered the request and has no objectionable comments and staff found the request consistent with the comprehensive plan and recommends approval. Residential uses are the same between R21 and R10. The difference, of course, would be the lot size. The project engineer is present this evening. Okay. Are there any questions for staff at this time for the commission? Uh, Chair. Uh, so while the, uh, the county water and sewer is presently there, it, it can be tapped on as, as going forward. It is forward. within the buffer of a thousand feet, yes sir. Okay. I'm just curious, have there been any conversation about uh, putting it side by side, but they just got them stacked like this just to use the lots that show? That is the site one that we were getting. And as directed last week, it uh, looks like uh, the two that flank the, the right and left that will have this long driveway that, that go that into them. The Thank you, Madam Chair. Are there any other questions? Commissioner, I want you to look if you have questions. No. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right. Well, if we have no other questions, then we'll enter into the public hearing. And or is there anyone present tonight who would like to speak in favor of this case being presented? Please state your name and address, please. My name is Matt Phelps. My address is 4560 Beth, North Drive. Uh, I am here as representing the, the client, uh, my client as the project engineer because we're all going to need to do a little bit of water and sewer extensions. Uh, I really don't have anything to add beyond what uh, Smalley said, so really I'm just here to answer any questions or concerns. Uh, don't have. Mr. Bailey, the answer here is water is directly across the street. Uh, the county just recently put water mains down Old Pine Road, uh, and the sewer is there at the intersection there um, with that road going into the cross street subdivision. There's a sewer pump station just off, okay. this, off the picture there. Okay. Could you talk to us a little bit, please, about the driveways and how they're going to access these two homes on the back side of the property? There'll be three independent driveways, one for each lot. There'll be an improved surface. Um, I haven't worked that out yet with the owner, whether it's going to be solid concrete or asphalt or maybe asphalt buildings or something. But anything other than a dirt driveway. Okay. And they will have a, a paved you know, concrete, something parking pad. Now, I, man, I'm just curious. I mean, they, they wouldn't even wait to, to put them like three in a row and stagger them. The lot widths um, required by you know, county zoning um, the, the, just couldn't allow them to be side by side. But the, the once the building setbacks are put into place, uh, it just there wasn't quite enough room there to do that. So we, we just took the outside ones and, and pushed them back. They're still, you know, the ones in the rear are not looking. They have a clear line of sight to the street. You know, they're not looking in the back side of the, the middle one, um, but that was that was the best we could do. Yeah, that's but can, let, let me, ask, Madam Chair, no, I, I'm just curious. Uh, the house that is depicted to the left hand side. Mm -hmm. So maybe I should ask this question: Is it going any, any kind of fencing going to be put up? There will probably be some fencing put up for the rear yards. I, I, I don't know that there'll be one all the way out to the road. Now, I, I, and the reason my question, Matt, I mean, it looks good and everything, but I'm just curious about the, the, the rear duplex being having a, a, a rear view looking in, into the existing residence. I, I was right. just curious if he's going to put like a, a fence there for a buffer. That's definitely something we can consider. That probably would be a good idea. Okay. Um, good. Good idea. 
Good suggestion. Yes. You said that it just wasn't quite the wide enough to put them side by side. Yes. How how much did it miss it by? Just a few feet? Something that we could go and get a bearage for? Um, because it would look a whole lot better there if it was straight line instead of tagger. It was somewhere, I think it was around 15 feet. I mean, it, it was mm -hmm. significant enough to where yeah. we probably couldn't get it with a bearage. It doesn't sound like much, but it is on the side. Right. I don't think we could get it with a bearage. Okay. Um, and if we did, they would look, I mean, they would be extremely tight close together. Okay. So, just a question. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Fowles. Is there anyone else in the audience who would like to speak on behalf or in favor of the case being presented? Anyone else wishing to speak in favor? If not, is there anyone in the audience who would wish to speak against the case being presented tonight? Come forward, please, ma'am. State your name and address for us, please. I'm Kimberly Orton. My address is 3733 Cross Street Circle. My property is, is exactly behind uh, the lot that you see on the left. I'm the yeah, pool right there. Um, I am concerned about having multi residential families on these lots. All the houses that you see there are over a half of an acre. Ours is zero point five seven. These lots are under a half of an acre. We're single family homes, and it concerns me not only a duplex on the property, but three duplexes on two properties. Because everybody, if you look right there, everybody's single family, well, not multiple. And I think it brings something different to the neighborhood that we don't desire. And I don't think I'm afraid I'll talk to about this again. Anyone have any questions for the speaker? What, um Um, Commissioner Bailey is asking if there were renderings that you could look at. Would that alter or have perhaps allay your fears in any way? Uh, I'd like to look at them, although I was told my husband came up last week and asked about them and he was shot in the wrong uh -huh. of what it looked like. And the sadly, it's very disappointing to see that they were trying to be the six same ones in two months. Mm -hmm. Um, and I do know that those lots, um, all the houses around there, I know the houses in Cross Street all have our own single septic tank. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're on septic tank? Yes, sir. You're every, on septic tank? Every house in Cross Street is on septic tank. So these houses that are on either side of this property, Molly, do you know, are they county water and sewer, or do they also have their own? They're septic. They're septic. Yeah. And the house on the right of there, the big lot, mm -hmm. on the right, um, I believe that has its own water pump. That's that little shed in the back. Um, I mean, by the point where I can point to it. And that provides water to that area. So that's kind of a private one, and I don't know that that would have enough. You know, I just don't know that that would have enough. So, so Madam Chair, do you, do you have, do you have a, a individual well or you're on a water system? We have a, a, a neighborhood water system. Okay. It's a natural water supply. And our tank is on the other side of the neighborhood central. Are there any other questions? Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Is there anyone else in the audience tonight? Please come forward, sir. State your name and address, please. My name is Dale Queen. I'm at 3729 Cross Street Circle. I'm in the other lot right behind them. Uh, my concern is population density. I mean, those are small lots. I mean, you're going to put six families in that small area. They're going to be packed in there like sardines. Uh, I, too, am concerned a little bit about the water. Uh, also, if you notice the lot, there's actually a buffer area between uh, my uh, privacy fence and the end of my property, which I'm a little concerned about, you know, encroachment. At some point in time, people are going to start moving stuff over. And is there a plan by the uh, developer to ensure that my area isn't going to be encroached on? I, 
believe he did mention um, that the um, like a hedge or some type of barrier there was definitely a possibility. Well, I have a you private fence, fence man, right. and mm -hmm. I can see the tr there used to be a trailer right there, yeah. and I can look right into the trailer living room because mm -hmm. I'm up on a higher area. Our stuff is up probably four or five feet higher, so that would have to be a 20 foot fence. So an average six foot privacy fence ain't going to cut if they're trying to look for some sort of blocking barrier. Okay. So you want to have any questions for the speaker? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. We have just a couple more minutes. Is there anybody else here wishing to speak in opposition of the case being presented? If not, we'll exit from the public hearing. Any more discussion? Madam Chair, I want to get one place out of the red card. Yep. Molly, if you don't sure. care. So I infer your written instructions here at TRC with OK going forward with this report. Yes, sir. They have no objectionable comments. <coughs> I just, I just said going forward, I just might want to make sure that even though it's written here, the TRC had no objection to moving forward. <clears throat> All right. Oh, this, Molly, let me ask a question. The other R10 properties in the nearby neighborhoods, are any of those multifamily dwellings? Or it appears that they are single family. Yes, sir. Single family. Directly across the street, uh, Commissioner Old Pine on Sarah Road, if you'll see. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. There are about eight rental duplexes there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right you can sit on the screen right behind yeah. that yeah. chair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. At the bottom of the page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are duplexes those yeah. in a row? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. <coughs> No other comments or questions. I'll call for a motion. Madam Chairman, I recommend, we, I recommend to the County Commission to approve with the one stipulation of a six foot privacy defense across the back of the lot to separate it from the acoustic normal. Okay, so if I understand correctly, you are um, making a motion to vote in favor of this with one. Addition. Addition. Okay. And that would be the six foot privacy fence across the back. Madam uh, Chair, if I could also just uh, echo what he said there. We'll move it one step forward, maybe on the side where the house are. If we could bring the privacy fence up a halfway, 100 feet of the 200 feet to give a buffer from the other neighbors. Commissioner, you don't mind attaching that? That's fine. Is that, you wish to amend your motion? Okay. So that would be a hundred feet of privacy fence on either side. Coming forward, yes, ma'am. Right. Okay. All right. Any other discussion on the motion? If not, I'll call for a second. I defer meaning. Yes. Yeah. Left, left or right. Left left or right. right. Okay, so is, this, is this a hedge or, or line of trees here on one side already? So there you're is. talking about a privacy fence inside of that hedge. <clears throat> Uh, or whatever it yeah, is. Yes, I think so, Commissioner, because the other side is open. And so just to, to be constant. Mm -hmm. Balance it out. Okay. Any other comments? Okay. I'll call for a second on the motion that Commissioner Hall made with the two addition. Madam Chair, I'll second the motion. All right. All right. All those in favor of the motion? Please sing about the right hand, please. Ms. Carmel, all those against the motion, please raise your right hand, please. Okay. <coughs> all right, motion carried.